Hey, it's Ms. Alana here working on math, getting smarter and smarter every day. Now I'm using the iPad to record this and I'm holding it. So excuse me if it's like shaking, shaking, shaking. Raise your hand if you can help be my cameraman, camera woman. Uh, maybe next time I might need your help. But for now, I'm going to try to hold it without hurting my arm. All right, now you should have this sheet with you. This is your assignment for the week, October 10th through the 13th. And this one right here, it says what? Are my eyes like going all over the place? The camera's like right here. So excuse me if I'm like, my eyes are looking everywhere because I need to remember the camera's right there. All right, so it is math level one. Now, some of you all raise your hand if you had level one and you tried to work on that on your own. Raise your hand if you got that, air five for you, air five for you. And if you are ready for level two, put your hands up. All right, so this one, I'm not gonna give you all the answers for this work, but I'm gonna do a little tutorial for the different skills on here, all right? So this first tutorial will be for the first part right there, reading and writing decimals. Let's read the standard. It says read and write and compare decimals to the thousands. Read and write decimals to thousands place using base 10 numerals, number names, and expanded form. And there was an example right there. Okay, so before we do that, the first thing we need to know and the first thing we need to do is talk about place value. Okay, so looking at place value right here. All right, so I made these charts. Bam, check out the new charts that we have in the classroom. So check that out. All right. So here's our place value. Now raise your hand if you know all your place values. So you've done these, right? All the ones in the whole number. And now we're adding the ones after the decimal. So just as a review, so here's, all right, let me try to hold this still. Okay, so here we have, say the number, 9,876,543 and 210 thousands, okay? So that's how you would say that number. Can you say that on your own? All right, say it with me, 9,876,543 and 210 thousands. All right, so let's review. Let's start with the whole number starting at the decimal point. Is, all right, can you read sideways? So if you can't read sideways, just, just turn, turn your head sideways like this. Turn your head sideways so you can read. There's the ones place, there's the tens place, there's the hundreds place, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, the hundred thousands place, the millions. And if we were to keep going, you would have 10 millions, 100 millions, then what's after millions? The billions, 10 billions, 100 billions, then trillions, 10 trillions, 100 trillions. So when you get that much money, let me borrow some. Let me get some of that. All right, so those are place value uh, names for the numbers in the whole numbers. Now looking at the decimal, so these numbers are smaller than a whole, okay? So these numbers are smaller than a whole. After the decimal, we have tenths, and you can look sideways, and I underlined a THS, because look, it's just like this, tens, but you add a THS on it. Then after that, you have hundreds. It's just like the word hundred, then you add THS on the end. Then the last, next one, the third place is thousand, THS at the end. Do you see the pattern? Look, it's just like this one going the opposite way. So we're skipping the ones, then you have tens, tenths. Look, hundreds, hundreds, thousands, thousands. Now in our fifth grade standards, they're telling us we just have to stop at thousands, but guess what? You're too smart, you're smarter than that. So we can keep going forward, not forward, backwards, to the right, uh, whatever you call that. And if I had something else, this would be ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Now, when would you ever use that number? Raise your hand if you are a scientist. That's right, if you like to learn about the earth, the planet, plants, animals, anything in this world, you're a scientist. Huh? So scientists use these numbers, small numbers, especially when they are looking at stuff that are like really, really tiny in measurement, for example, like cells or I can't think of what else right now, but really, really tiny things like cells, I guess that's the smallest atoms, yes. Tiny, 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 tiny. All right, so you're gonna need to know your place value. Refer back to this chart in the classroom. As a matter of, as a matter of fact, take these notes down. Write this in your notebook. Write it in your notebook. I'm gonna hold it right there. So you can pause it, write it in your notebook. 
All right, so you can label these your notes, your place, value notes. All right, and then when we're done, when you're done doing that, we're going to move on to learning how to read and write decimals. So I have an example. Bam, look, bam. I have all these examples for you, for you to refer to, and guess what? I make your life so easy. Some of these are the examples on your level one assignment. Some of them on your level two assignment. Some of them are in the level three once you get that. All right, so there are three ways that we can read and write decimals. What are those three forms? We have the base 10, numeral form, or a standard form. We have the number name, word form. And we have expanded form, three ways, okay? All right, now, I wonder if I should have just made this a separate video. That's okay, we're just gonna keep going. All right, so when you have your base 10 numeral standard form, all that is, what do you notice? What do you notice? What do you notice? They're just the numbers. You just write the numbers just like how you would write regular numbers, write the digits. Now the difference is these have your decimals, okay? So you can actually find these. So we have that number. And when you say the number, that's like writing it in word form, like that. And another word, word for word form is number name. So I want you to know that whatever you see on a test, in a book, in an example, it might say number name, it might say word form. I went ahead and put both in your assignment. So the way that you say this number is how we would write it out in words. The way we write it out in words, you say the whole number first. So it's that whole number, 45. So see, I wrote 45. And then when you see the decimal point, we don't say decimal, we say the word and, and that's why I underlined it right there. So if you notice, each of these have and, 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 and right there. And the end means, not the end, and with the A stands for the decimal point, okay? So 45 and, and then there's that number three. So we're gonna say the number three and tenths. So whatever place value you see right there is the place value you write right there. The three's in the tenths place, so we write tenths. Now look at, I'm gonna skip down. So this will be in the classroom for you to refer back to. I'm gonna skip down to this one where it says, that, where it has this number in standard form. So we're gonna write 429, look, 429, there's a decimal, so what do we say? And, and then that's 82 what? Hundreds, do you know why I said hundreds? Because look, there's the eight, there's the two. The two is in the hundreds place. And again, you should have this in your notebook, but if you refer back to your place value chart, the first number, the first digit after the decimal is your no, not hundreds, tenths place, hundreds place, thousands place. All right? So moving along, let's go to the last one right there. How do I write, read and write that number in words? That's 712, so pretend that's not there. 712, so write that. 712, there's your decimal. So what do we say when you see the decimal? And, right there, and. And then how do we say this number? 37, so it's kind of like you're saying two different numbers, so that's 37, 37 what? Thousands, because it is the tens, hundreds, thousands place. All right, super easy, raise your hand if you know how to do that. Oh, so easy. And the last way to write numbers is in expanded form. Now, I know this kind of looks a little bit complicated. Now, raise your hand if you saw the example that I put right here and you're like, I figured it out. You're so smart. All right, so I try to give you hints and clues to help you out and bam, I'll explain it to you now. So if you look right here at this first example, I'm gonna take each digit. You see this four? There's the four. Now why did I write times 10? What's four times 10? 40, see, look. That four is really a 40, it's not a four. And what place is this four? In the tens place, how do you know? Because you just know. Or you can, bam, refer back to this chart right there. It's the second digit, tens place. Oh, that's weird, it's a four here too. Tens place. So that's why I know I can do four times 10. And I'm gonna put it in parentheses just so you don't get confused, okay? Sometimes you might see that without the parentheses. Then I'm gonna say plus, because I'm gonna add this 40 
plus what's here? Five. So then I'm going to write five times one. Well, why is it one? What place is that five? It's in the ones place. And five times one is five. So there's that 40 plus five, which makes 45. Bam, right there. And then when we have the three, what place is that in? That's the tenths place. So bam, right here, tenths place. Three times one tenth. Not, not this kind of ten. Remember, it has that THS at the end. So there's one tenth. That means if I had like one hole, it was like ten pieces. So if I had one hole and I cut it in ten pieces, it would be three pieces out of that hole. All right? So let's move on. Let's look at this one. 640 and 39 hundredths. So to do that in expanded form, I'm going to take each digit. I'm going to take that 6 times 100 right there. That 4 times, that's in the tens place. 4 times 10 right there. So since that's a 0, I could just skip that one. Moving on to that 3. 3 times 1 tenth, that's in the tenths place. Where, where am I looking at? Right there. And the last one is 9. That's in what place? The 100. Oh my gosh, my hand. This thing is like getting heavy. Where, where are we looking at? Right here. 9 times 100. All right, let's skip to this one right here. 25 and 136 thousandths. So to do that in expanded form, same thing. Look, is that 2 times 10? Because that 2 is in the tens place. Plus, so don't get these times multiplication and addition symbols mixed up, okay? So that's why I put the parentheses so you can see. Plus the 5, that's in the ones place, so it's 5 times 1. Put that, those in parentheses. Plus, was this 1? Look, the one is in the tenths place, the three is in the hundreds place, and the six is in the thousandths place. So when you look right here, three times, no, one times one tenth in the tenths place, three is in the hundreds place, so it's times one hundred, one hundredth, plus six times one thousandths, because that's in the thousandths place. All right. So that is it for this video. If you still need help, guess what? You can watch the video again. Take these notes down. As a matter of fact, let me hold it up right there. So some of these are level one. Some of these are level two. And then some of these are level three. All right, so you don't need to write these in your notes as notes. Just go ahead and write them down when you're doing the actual assignment that goes, well, that shows these numbers, okay? All right, so I'm probably going to make, uh, let's see, another video maybe for you. So I hope this helped. Again, like I said, this is in the classroom. Keep working hard. Keep trying. Don't forget, do your two study ladders. And I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. And I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.